What's up guys and welcome to today's veteran. My name is Mike and today we are at here at Angry Go Custom Carts. We'll be working on a club car tempo. We're going to be adding a new floor mat, new horn, seat belts, uh, doing a detailed job. We have, we've had this car built for about two weeks now and we got a customer that is interested in it. So we decided that we're going to make sure we spruce it up a little bit more. Eventually, we're probably going to add a sound bar and a couple other things to it also. So make sure you like and subscribe and follow along on this little adventure. Alright guys, so you saw the quick install on uh, the horn, made it honk a couple times. So now we're going to go on and remove this floor mat that's in here now, get it replaced, and then we'll work on the seat belt um, and go from there. So guys, on the tempo, very, very easy to do the install for the floor mat, if you saw. Um, two bolts right here on this side, one there, one there. Two bolts on the other side, one there, and one there. And just set it on in there. The best way to make it really easy for you is to actually sit it outside in the sun or heat it up with a heat gun or something to get it hot and warmed up, and then it actually will flow and it'll actually morph back into what you wanted it to set up as. So now guys, we're moving on to the seatbelt kit. Um, I'll show you the kit real quick. Let me know, it's, see if any of you guys have ever used one of these before. And we're using the Augusta kit from Augusta Parts. Pretty easy kit to install. They are retractable, true, retractable seat belts, buckles, go front and back seats because as you see this Tempo has front seats and back seats. Um, that is a flip down. Um, they do come with instructions. They are universal kits so you can see it's got club car precedence. Uh, you've got the, e the club car DS, club car, uh, Easy Go TX, RXB, Yamaha Drive, and the G-Series. So 
the, this kit does have a little bit of everything in it. Um, for it, so it is a universal. So you'll have brackets you may not need, bolts you may not. Well, you always need all these bolts. Um, some of the other stuff you may not actually need for this part. But it is well worth the kit. Um, I do recommend this kit a lot. Uh, I've had we've had really good success putting this kit on a lot of different cards. So follow along on this one. So, messed up, put it on backwards, gotta redo it. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you a little bit. Uh, this is just doing the backside. I'm gonna give you a little quick show. So, as you can see, they just mount up in these little spots. And I actually use different hardware um, to mount, for, uh, mount the actual bracket to the, front, uh, the rear seat frame. Um, I use our own hardware. I like the way it looks better. Um, but I have the seat belts themselves, you can eat, you've got a 17 millimeter nut and a 14 millimeter bolt that goes through. I'll show you those real quick. Got a 14 millimeter nut. Seven or bolt, sorry. 14 millimeter bolt. 17 millimeter nut. And that's how you mount it down. I like to add an extra washer for security on the locking washer side. So I go screw in or bolt bolt in lock washer or washer lock washer and then nut. And the seat belt mounts mount in between here is where I put my normal on the, I part the seat belt itself here and then everything else goes on the other side. 
So I'll show you a little bit closer view of me doing the front seat. Now we're going to do this. I always start on the centers first and then work my way out. So, buckle. You put it in. Nut through. And I will move the camera so you guys can see a little bit better. Because right now I know you can't see nothing. Besides my arm sticking in there. Again, remember 17 millimeter and a 14. 17's are on the inside, 14's are on the out. Nice and tight. They don't move. I'm gonna go ahead and do this side and then I'll actually turn you to the other side so you can actually see. Oh, well, I just might have lost that one. Of course, the one hole on this thing. He's the magnet, always work. Wrong side. All right, guys, so you guys saw me do the seat belts, the horn, uh, the new floor mat. Um, so now we're going to go take it outside and do some uh, little quick detailing, rent, uh, pressure wash the end motor off, some of the other stuff getting it cleaned back up. So let's see how this works and what it looks like when it's done.
right, guys. So, uh, my phone decided it wanted to overheat, and I'm not able to actually send, show you the rest of the videos of me doing the undercarriage and all that. Uh, I will am going to finish showing you guys how to do how we do some of the extra little cleaning with a couple simple products, nothing major. Um, sorry for the background noise. I know it's a little windy. I got a porta cooler on because I live in Central Florida and it's about 100 degrees outside right now and in the shop in the shop with the porta cooler on we're looking at 89 so yeah it's 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 definitely a warm day out here so I apologize for the wind noise as I'm talking to you guys I know most of this is, is going to be a time lapse uh, of you seeing what I'm doing as we go so keep on watching let's go as I said, simple product, just glass cleaner and a Brillo pad. color showing through. Cleaned it up a little bit. So we're going to do that on all the white striping. And make sure you don't scrub hard. You don't want to rip your leather. I should show you guys before and after, huh? You can see up here it's real dingy from just sitting, and this one was just as bad as this. Not too bad down in the center, but always at the tops down here in Central Florida, we get that. Um, we'll go to the other side real quick. As you can see, front seat's got the dinginess here, up top, nothing really down on, this, on the edges here, but the one I just cleaned, you can see it's, it's pretty clean. So like the front seat here, you can see That definitely made a difference on those seats and it was just simple glass cleaner and a little Brillo pad with the microfiber towel afterwards. So we're gonna keep on going with the, doing the window, windshield, the mirrors, and um, probably just wipe off the body a little bit more too.
right, guys. So you got to see a little bit of the cart stuff that we do here at Angry Goat Custom Carts and some of the other things I do. Um, if you like if you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe. Comment down below what you want to see next. Um, and we'll try to be more regular with our videos, trying to get uh, uploads on Tuesdays and Fridays. So we'll see how that goes. Um, just let me know what y'all think. And remember, you guys, I love you. Stay breezy.